Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the area of a triangle when we are given the coordinates of its vertices. So here we have some arbitrary triangle and we're going to go ahead and label its vertices. We'll call this one A, call this one B, and this one C. It doesn't matter how you label them as long as it's consistent throughout the entire problem. Now, of course, each point has two different coordinates associated with it. So this one will have xA and yA. This one over here will have xB and yB. And then finally, we have xc and yc. OK, so if we know all of these values, we can determine the area of the triangle. Though the formula is a little bit complicated, it takes a while to set up, but it's not terribly difficult to calculate. So we'll set it up piece by piece. I'm going to have xA times some quantity, which we'll fill in afterwards, plus xB times some quantity, plus xC times some quantity. Okay. Now let's fill in these values. So in here we have yb minus yc. Then we have yc minus ya. Finally, we have ya minus yb. Now, maybe somewhat confusing to remember which order these letters go in. But the easiest way to remember is when you look at any one chunk, A, B, and C should be in the right order. A, B, C, and here it's shuffled around a little bit, but if we always read left to right, it'll be correct. A, B, C, same thing here. A, B, C. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to divide all of this by 2. And finally, we're going to take the absolute value of the top part in order to ensure that we do in fact get a positive area, since it doesn't really make any sense for a triangle to have negative area. A couple things to keep in mind about this is that this will work even if some or all of the coordinates are negative, as you can see here. And also, if you compute this and find that the area is zero, what that means is that the three points of your triangle are actually collinear, meaning that they are along the same line, like so. Because then that's not even a triangle, it's just a line. So it's somewhat of a confusing formula, but once you get it all written out correctly, you can very quickly compute the area of the triangle. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed finding the area of a triangle when given the coordinates of its vertices.